Welcome project managers. This is Jim Franklin with PM Mapping. Today you're going to discover the Pinbach 5th edition mind map using MindView 6 mind mapping software. MindView just released a new version of MindView 6. has some excellent navigation features. I'll demonstrate those today. Let's get started. The Pinbach 5th edition mind map. You can see that I've included each one of the process groups initiating, planning, executing, monitoring and control, and closing. If I expand to the next level, you can see I've included the processes, develop project management plan, collect requirements, and you can see right here is the knowledge area, integration management, scope management as an example. One thing I do want to point out is under integrated integration management, develop project management plan, I actually included the various plans associated with each one of the knowledge areas, plan scope management, plan schedule management, etc. just to make the map a little bit more compact. One of the cool features of the My Mapping software is you have a legend. As you can see on this legend, I have the process groups, the processes, the outputs, which is indicated by this icon, and MindView 6 allows me to even filter and search within the legend, which is also a cool feature. I'm not going to demonstrate those features today. What I would like to demonstrate is the filtering. So if I click on filter, MindView automatically generates filters based on the legend, icons, and resources. This mind map is based on a course that I teach at UCSD. The textbook I'm using, I've created the icons for each one of the chapters. So if we click on chapter four, expand the map, you can see chapter four focuses on project planning and then scope management, time management, and cost management. Now remember, the reason I have integration management here is I've included the project management subplan associated with scope. So let's go ahead and close this. Let's look at some other examples of the filters. If I click on resources, let's go back to scope management. I'll expand on monitoring and control. And these are the processes associated with scope management for both planning and monitoring and control. So really cool feature with respect to filtering. You're able to drill down into the mind map very quickly and these are automatically generated. I believe that's probably one of the most powerful features is you don't have to go in and create these filters. They're automatically generated for you. If I come in and go back to, well first I'll clear the filter, go back to level one I can do a fit all and it represents that top level mind map very, very nicely. Again, this is the Pinbach 5th edition mind map. It's based or uses MindView 6, which includes some very cool features. And one other feature that I want to demonstrate is for each one of these processes, I have included a link to a Google Drive slide. So in this case, define scope. If I click on that link, it'll bring up a slide. I've included the definition for defined scope in this example. And then I have the inputs, tools and techniques, and outputs. This is really great. It allows you to almost have flashcard type approach when you're studying for the PMP exam or if you need just a refresher in project management. As I mentioned, these files are located on a public Google Drive folder. You have access to those files via the mind map or with a link to this Google Drive folder. This mind map has really helped me in teaching the project management concepts at UC San Diego Project Management Extension class. It's very powerful. It includes the process groups, the knowledge areas, the processes, and also the outputs. As I mentioned earlier, I have a link to a Google Drive slide for each one of the processes, and that includes the inputs, tools and techniques, and also the outputs. Thank you very much. Again, my name is Jim Franklin. I'm with PM Mapping. Please let me know if you have questions, if you would like any guidance. I'm more than happy to conduct a Google Hangout and demonstrate this mind map further. Thank you and have a great day.